For this RC circuit, we have a function generator with a 2.5 volts peak input and a 1 kilohertz input. The resistor is a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the capacitor is a 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Here's the circuit for that setup with a capacitor over on the right and resistor up high. Here we have the function generator, the output goes right across the entire circuit with the black lead connected to the capacitor. The negative terminal is here. We're going to monitor the output across the entire circuit. We're also going to monitor the output across the capacitor and compare the two so that we can compare the phase difference between the input and output waveforms. So we first connect our common ground. And this is measuring the output. So across the entire circuit, measuring the output, that's done with channel one. Now channel two, which is over here, is gonna monitor the output only across the capacitor. So we have a common ground with three connectors monitoring the output only across the capacitor. So that is the connection for this circuit. Now what we want to do is dial the input in. We can select the frequency and dial that in, make sure that it's going to be uh, one kilohertz. And then we want to monitor the output down here. So you need to adjust these, these knobs until you get a nice waveform on the screen. And let's first look at channel one. So flip that to channel one, this to channel one. You can select this on ground and center up the waveform like that. Flip it back to AC and then adjust the amplitude output until you have um, two and a half volts peak. To do that, you can put this on one volt um, per division and have the waveform go up two and a half divisions and down two and a half divisions. I don't think I quite got that right, so let me recenter that. Go two and a half up and two and a half down. Of course, I'll have to dial this in, this frequency in a little bit better as well to make sure that it's going to be one kilohertz. Now that's monitoring the input with channel one. Now I can also look at what the output is over here by switching this to channel two and I can trigger also on channel two as well. And the waveform kind of looks similar but you might notice a subtle height between the two. You could switch back and forth between the two to see them or you can put this in alt mode. That's the one right directly up on top of that knob and what it's doing is alternating the, the electron beam trace between channel 1 and channel 2. If we magnify this a bit, you can see that there is a phase difference between 1 and 2.